Hey guys, welcome back. So as promised, I'm going to show you my vampirist Manny. Um, I didn't want to call it a vampire Manny because I wanted it to be girly. So <laughs> I'm using three colors in total, three dip colors. I'm going to get started with this white by Triple D called I'm Not What You Pink. Um, this color is really cool because when you order it, from her website, you can select whether you want to get the glow in the dark version of the white or just the normal white dip. Um, so I am using this white just because this one is by far my favorite white. All the other whites that I have and have used, they turn out fine when you file and buff and all that, but Sometimes with white, you can really see like your brush strokes, like the streaks in your nails when you do the white. And this powder, for some reason, I don't have that issue. So this is definitely by far my favorite white as of right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and do two dips in my white because I'm gonna do some blood drips on these nails. I didn't wanna do just the you know, the vampire ombre on all of them and call it a day. Um, I wasn't even going to do this Manny and film it whatsoever just because I've seen so many people um, uploading, you know, the black and red ombre Mannies to begin with. But I had a couple of you request that I do it anyway. So that is what I am doing. So I'm just going to finish up my second dip. I'm going to cap and clear, get these activated. Oh, you know what? I did three dips in the white just because I'm doing an extra dip on all of them. But I'm only showing you two dips in this. And then I'll do the third one off camera. And then I will come back to clear cap. So I will let you guys watch and I'll be right back.
All right, so moving on to the ombre portion of the video, I am going to do two dips into this gorgeous red from iGel called Bloody Mary. Um, I'm using my Model 1's dip liquids. I've actually really been enjoying them. They're a nice thin consistency. I did get them off of Amazon, so I will leave them linked in the description box for you guys as well if you would like to try them out. They do have a little bit of an odor to them, um, but I didn't think it was all that bad. So I'm going to do two dips into this Bloody Mary. I keep wanting to call it a vampire color. <laughs> um, and then I'm going to actually do the scrub ombre, which I've never done before, but I learned a little trick. So I will let you guys watch and I will be right back.
All right, so my dips in Bloody Mary are complete, and now I'm gonna move on to the actual ombre portion. So I'm gonna use the black from Eye Gel, which is called At Midnight, and in my cupcake liner, I have some clear. I have my little e.l.f. blending brush. This is just one of my favorite brushes to do an ombre. So I'm going to dust off excess powder really, really well. So this red and the black, they look like they stain a little bit, but once I washed my hands, you know, after I activated, it all came right off. So no complaints there whatsoever. But I'm going to show you guys the little hack that I learned. I actually saw Carol Nett do this in one of her videos. So I'm glad she uploaded it because I have never been able to achieve the scrub ombre up until now. I tried so many times to get that damn method to work <laughs> and I just, I could not do it. So you're going to apply your base and then you're gonna dip into clear. And what you are essentially gonna do, so I give it like five seconds. I pretty much dip into the clear. I go around with my cuticle stick and make sure I don't have anything on my skin. And then I'm gonna dip my ombre brush into the black. And then I'm gonna start scrubbing over the clear. And I think why this works so good is that you are staining that clear layer and not the colored layer underneath. So it actually shows up. That was my problem before. I could never get it to actually show up. <laughs> so you wanna focus really good on your free edge first and your sidewall areas, the edges of your nails, make sure you get those nice and saturated just like so and then I will slowly work my way down my nail or as far down as I want it to go but you're literally just going to scrub 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 <laughs> and stain that clear layer of dip that you've done so if you struggle with the scrub ombre like I was <laughs> definitely try out this little trick and see if this works for you because I have never been able to get the scrub ombre to work until now but you just apply a layer of your base do a dip in clear and then get to scrubbing <laughs> so i will let you guys watch for a bit and i'll be right back
All right, so now I'm just going to ombre my thumb. I love this red. This Bloody Mary color from iGel is stunning. It is going to be, it's great for this vampire Manny. It's going to be so great for Christmas Manny's. It is just that perfect, rich red, and I love it. The only thing I will definitely do differently when I do my scrub ombres in the future. This was the first scrub ombre I have done on my nails and not on swatches. The only thing I will do different is I would use a different clear. Like I would definitely use my Invisible Zooty for doing the scrub ombre just because that is still to date my all time clearest clear dip that I own. Um, in for this Manny, I was using my Mia Secret Clear, which works great for clear capping and stuff like that. But I could kind of see some of those clear bubbles when I finished my Manny and did my, you know, my gel top coat, which on camera you didn't see too, too much um, when I do my final look reveal at the end, but I could definitely see them. Um, but I'm still wearing this Manny. Part of me was sad that I did peel base and the other part of me was happy that I did peel base because now I get to keep them. <laughs> I know it's weird. My sister thinks it's so weird that I keep my peelies. Does anybody else keep their peelies if you use peel base? Please don't let me be the only weird one. <laughs> but I'm just going to finish up scrubbing the crap out of my thumb and then I'm going to clear cap on top of this because I want to make sure that I protect all of that hard work that I did to create my ombre and I will be right back. So on my pinky and my middle, it's not as visible, but you can see as soon as I apply my base, you know, my dip base, you can really see all of the bubbles from the clear dip over my nail. So I just wanted to point that out. Um, I even tried like popping this thumb off, popping this thumb off, that sounds brutal. Popping the thumbnail off 
and redoing it with the same clear and I still got those air bubbles. So I don't know if it's just because the thumb is bigger that it's more visible or what it is. But I would definitely use my invisible Zooty or a little bit more of a finer milled clear when you're doing this. If you're doing lighter colors for the ombre, it's probably not going to be as noticeable. But over such dark colors, it was definitely a little bit noticeable. Um, but I still love how they turned out regardless of those little bubbles or not. So now I'm going to brush off. I'm going to do two coats of my activator. I'm going to let my nails harden for a couple minutes. Then I will file and shape and I will be back to put some blood drips on the white nails. So keep watching and I'll be right back. All right, so I am all filed and shaped and now I'm going to go in and just apply my gel base to just my two nails that I'm going to be doing my designs on. So I'm using my Triple D gel base coat. I will apply that and then give it a 30 second cure. And I'm going to do a little bit of nail art with some gel polish. But I was curious, what are you guys doing for Halloween? Are you even able to take the kids trick-or-treating. I know in our area they didn't tell us that we can't, but they did give us um, a short two-hour window if we want to go trick-or-treating with the kids. We can only do it between six and eight. Um, and then obviously the neighbors, they all have the choice on whether they want to participate or not. So I decided that since I finally, we got our deck redone, um, during the end of the summer. So I'm just gonna throw a little like Halloween deck party <laughs> for all of the kids in my family. That way they're not completely missing out on Halloween altogether. All right, so for the nail art portion, I'm gonna use my dotting tool. I'm gonna use a toothpick. And then I have this color called Vampiris from Spark & Co. It is a gel polish. I got it in one of my monthly subscription bags, so I don't believe I'll be able to find it and link it. Um, if for some reason I'm able to, I will. And you don't have to use a gel polish for this design. You could use acrylic paint. You could use regular polish if you're not into doing gel. I wanted to do, to do, I wanted to use the gel just because I wanted it to run a little bit on its own. So I'm going to, with my dotting tool, make a couple dots on my nails, and then I will kind of pick my finger up and tilt it downward so that that gel can kind of run, let gravity do its thing, you know? Um, and then I'm just gonna take a toothpick and drag the drips upwards and then fill in around my cuticle and any other spots where it needs a little bit more blood. That didn't make me sound creepy at all. <laughs> so I am just letting my finger kind of sit downward and just kind of run a little bit. This design really turned out a lot easier than I thought it was going to be, but I love how these turned out. I'm only going to show you guys how I did the design on just this nail just to save a little bit of time. So now with a toothpick, I'm just going to start at those drips and just drag it up my nail just a bit, just like so, and then fill in 
any empty spots in my cuticle area. So I will let you guys watch and I will be right back. All right, so now that the design is how I like it, I'm going to cure for 30 seconds. I went ahead and did my other nail off camera, and now I'm just gonna go in and top coat using my Triple D gel top coat. I did cure my designs for, I believe I cured them for 90 seconds just to be 100% sure that it was nice and cured just because it is a little bit thicker. Um, and that was just because I did all the dots and stuff like that. So if you're not big on having any kind of texture to your nail, you may not be a huge fan of this just because you can, you know, rub your finger over it and feel the texture. Um, I don't mind it that much. So, but I love how these turned out. So I'm going to get these top coated. I'm going to cure for 60 seconds and I'll be right back.
All right, so my nails are all cured and done. I love how these turned out. And I've noticed in my Facebook group, some of you guys have already done some really awesome vampire blood splatter manis already. So keep your mani pictures in the Facebook group coming because I love seeing what all of you talented ladies do on your nails. It is definitely inspiration for me as well. So I just went ahead and applied my cuticle oil and they're so cute. I love them so, so much. Hopefully they will last me through Halloween because I don't want to take them off. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you all so, so much for watching and I will catch you all in my next one. Bye guys.